Hello everyone, welcome to LaFontaine Classic Cars, 85C10, slam down just right. This is a Southern truck, two wheel drive, V8 power, the air blows cold. Come in, let's check this thing out and go for a drive. steering doing this thing yeah you get a truck this low it's not gonna have much body roll this thing feels tight in the first couple corners at low speed we'll see what she does at around 50 here in just a moment i'd like to see those working cancels on its own as well Five's got. Not bad at all. This has got a, a 700 R4 up underneath it. So we have our overdrive. Taking our first turn. Oh yeah, she's planted. Just a little bit of wind noise, but drives very straight. Alignment is good, the transmission shifts smooth. All of our gauges are working well. Oil pressure looks good right in the center. Our coolant, it's about 180 degrees right now. Very nice and cool in our voltmeter. Reading just over 13 volts, that is nice. And the radio in this thing bumps. The air is nice and cool, I love that. And all of our power functions. <laughs> This truck can get out of its way. It is no rocket ship by any means. It's not gonna break any speed records, but it is a fun, tight cruiser. Ooh wee, ooh wee. Love it when it's factory. Look at this. Guys, all the paint on these inner fenders firewall is completely original. That factory speckle or spatter they spray in here to seal everything up, still intact. This car is babied, man. Um, got our washer fluid all filled up looking good. We got our jack there. Power brakes with the dual master. Have our AC compressor right up top over here. This truck too, downstairs we have a power steering pump. Then you notice we got our factory carburetor, air cleaner, factory in it. Look how cool this is, like a cold air intake all the way back from 85 leading you right into this grill here. Very clean, very stock. Um, this thing shows well. You turn the key and go. We showed you how it does that. In 85, we got this beautiful facelift. Love, love these grills and the headlight stackouts. A lot of these components are looking new to me. I see very little wear on the grill. The lenses on the lights look brand new. That bow tie is glistening. And take a look real down low at this front end. It's got a sweet looking chin splitter, I'm gonna call it. That lower valence doesn't look like it's been parked on any curbs and gives this truck attitude. Um, coming down the fender, great fitment. We got wheel arch moldings and a slick set of Riddlers. So we got a polished lip with a gunmetal finish in the center of a titanium color. And this truck came standard with disc brakes. Those rotors look good and the pads have a ton of life. And the chrome lug nuts are a nice touch too. Silverado trim, that is a couple steps up from the base model. 
And there's more to talk about with that Silverado package in the interior. We'll get to there in just a minute. Uh, good to see all the bright work around. Our extra trim on the cab there, chrome door handles. Damn, we got a little bit more dish out back. We are sporting a 275 out here. Hell yeah. Plenty of rubber to the road. Um, this is a single exit exhaust out of that V8. Sounds good and throaty. And we're looking at a factory short bed. Really cool combination. I love the color, the stance, what they've done with the suspension. I believe it's a 3.5 drop kit. You notice on top of our tailgate here to keep it protected, we've got some aluminum bed rails. And the tailgate and the bed are finished with a bed liner. So you can actually use this thing and not be afraid about scratching anything. Looks like I got a leaf and a, a tag up there. Forgive me for that, but very clean, solid truck. Um, combed this thing personally before we bought it. There's no rust on this bad boy. Very slick again. This one even has the drip rail molding and these stainless mirrors. This thing's kick ass. Oh yeah, doors open up like butter on a hot biscuit. These door cards are gorgeous. Look at everything's there, the trim, the handle, all the little buckles. And I mentioned Silverado and I was gonna show you something in the interior. This thing is loaded up. We've got power windows, power locks, really sharp truck. Now we'll come in and we'll look at our steering wheel and our instrument cluster here. This is a factory steering wheel with a beautiful horn button in the middle. I really like these two spoke wheels. And that is fixed to the factory tilt column. And we take a look just beyond that at all our lovely instruments. This one has the brushed aluminum inlay laid over the factory bezel. Looks very snazzy, another part of this higher trim level package. We got a Speedo going up to 80. I'm gonna lean in here. Got just 58,000 miles on this bad boy. Now the only flaw I'm finding inside of this truck, there is a crack right in front of you on the dash pad. Now they sell complete new dashes, they sell dash covers, whatever way you wanna roll. There is an easy remedy to fix that. It didn't bother us too much. We kind of like these old things that uh, a little bit of character in the right places. The seat here has been recovered. The foam padding is in great shape. We've got factory shoulder belts. Yes, you could have had lamps or the shoulders. Glad they went with that. We're staying safe and they're comfortable. and They look really cool. I love seeing these old GM uh, little logos on here. But we have three across the front. So we look up. We've got a real slick headliner in here. See, so we got an LED dome light. This looks like a new bezel over top of that. That looks very nice. We got visors for both the passenger and the driver. We have a good looking mirror. And this one has the factory option antenna uh, inlaid in the glass there. Something I really dig seeing on these original trucks is the factory SPID tag. That's what I've been calling it, the service part identification tag. And that tells you this truck was ordered in light blue metallic, blue custom vinyl interior, got our 305 air conditioning, um, 273 rear axle. The list goes on, but very cool to see those original stickers with it, showing you everything the truck was and still is. Thank you guys for checking us out. If you want to see anything more on this one, I'll put the link in the description of this video. It'll be right down below. It'll have a hundred plus pictures, all viewable on our website. So check that out. While you're down there clicking, feel free to give us a like and subscribe. It's gonna get you in tune and loop with all our latest arrivals. These things come and go quick. And lastly, if you want to dial us up, it's 248-714-2110. And all that information will be down below. Thank you guys once more from LaFontaine Classics. We will see you in the next video.